Hey Manifestors! Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we're all about leveling up your manifestation game. Today, we're going to introduce you to something revolutionary, our exclusive reverse engineering method for manifesting your desires. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the heck is reverse engineering? Is this a tech tutorial? But trust me, this method is about to change the way you manifest, and it's got nothing to do with coding, unless we're talking about coding your mind for success. So what exactly is this reverse engineering method? Well, it's all about taking the concept of living in the end, which you know we love around here, and cranking it up to 11. You're not just imagining your desires fulfilled, you're retracing the steps of what the future you did to get there. That's right, we're breaking down your success story in reverse, like rewinding your favorite movie to see all the behind-the-scenes magic. And the best part? You get to be the director, star and producer of this blockbuster. This method is for those who want to go beyond basic visualization and take action with precision. It's for the go-getters, the dream chasers, and the hustlers who know that manifestation is both a science and an art. And let's be real, if you're watching this, you're already ahead of the game. So, buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the reverse engineering method and show you how to manifest like a pro. The science behind reverse engineering. Why it works. All right. Let's get nerdy for a minute, because there's some solid science behind why the reverse engineering method works so well. You see, our brains are hardwired to learn through imitation and pattern recognition. This is where reverse engineering comes in. By identifying the actions, habits and mindsets of someone who has already achieved what you want, you're literally rewiring your brain to think and act like that successful version of yourself. And get this, it's not just about mimicking someone else's success. It's about understanding the underlying principles and applying them to your own life in a way that feels authentic. Think of it as building a house. You wouldn't just slap on a roof and call it a day. You'd start with the foundation, lay the bricks and follow the blueprint. With the reverse engineering method, you're creating your own blueprint for success, starting from the finish line and working your way backward. Research in psychology supports this approach. Studies have shown that when you visualize not just the end result, but also the process of achieving it, you're more likely to succeed. This method taps into your brain's natural tendency to map out paths to success. By reverse engineering your desires, you're telling your brain, hey, this is the way to get there, and your brain will start connecting the dots. It's like giving your GPS the exact coordinates and watching it calculate the best route. Plus, when you reverse engineer your goals, you're not leaving anything to chance. You're taking control of the narrative, filling in the gaps, and making sure every detail aligns with the life you want to create. This method combines the power of imagination with practical action. So you're not just dreaming, you're doing. And trust me, when you get this right, it's a game changer. The first step, identifying your end goal. Now, let's talk about the first step in the reverse engineering method, identifying your end goal. This might seem obvious, but it's where most people trip up. You need to be crystal clear about what you want, down to the nitty-gritty details. None of that vague, I want to be rich or I want to be happy nonsense. We're talking about getting specific, like, I want to own a beachfront property in Malibu by 2025, or I want to double my income in the next 12 months. Why is specificity so important? because your brain needs clear instructions. It's like ordering a pizza. You wouldn't just say, bring me something tasty. You'd specify exactly what toppings you want, what crust you like, 
and whether you need extra cheese, which by the way is always a yes. The same goes for your goals. The more specific you are, the easier it is to reverse engineer the steps needed to get there. And here's where it gets fun. Once you've nailed down your end goal, imagine yourself already there. Picture it, feel it, taste it, really immerse yourself in the experience. But don't stop there. Now start to think about what you, as this future version of yourself, did to get to this point. What were the key decisions? What habits did you adopt? Who did you connect with? This is where the reverse engineering begins. You see, by visualizing the end goal and then mentally retracing the steps, you're creating a roadmap that your brain can follow. This not only boosts your confidence, but also makes the journey feel more achievable. After all, if you can see yourself at the finish line, it's just a matter of figuring out how you got there. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. Retracing the steps, breaking down the process. All right, now that you've got your end goal locked in, it's time to start retracing the steps. This is where the magic of reverse engineering really comes into play. You're going to break down the process of how you, as this future version of yourself, achieved your desires. Think of it like playing a video game in reverse. What moves did you make to beat the final boss? Start by asking yourself, what was the first thing I did to get here? Maybe it was setting a specific intention, making a big decision, or adopting a new habit. Then ask yourself what you did after that. Keep going backward until you've mapped out the entire journey from start to finish, or in this case, from finish to start. This process might feel a bit weird at first, but trust me, it's incredibly powerful. And here's where it gets interesting. By reverse engineering, you're not just creating a to-do list. You're tapping into the mindset, habits and actions that your future successful self would embody. You're essentially bringing that version of yourself into the present moment, allowing you to start living as if you've already achieved your goals. This is next level manifestation, people. But remember, this isn't just about following a script. It's about understanding the principles behind each action. Ask yourself, why did this step work? What was the mindset behind this decision? The more you can understand and embody these principles, the more aligned you'll be with your desires. And when your actions, thoughts and beliefs are all in alignment, that's when the real magic happens. Acting as if. Becoming the person who has it all. This might feel a bit like playing pretend, but trust me, it's a game changer. When you start acting as if you've already achieved your desires, you're sending a powerful signal to your brain and the universe. You're essentially saying, this is who I am now, and the world will begin to respond to that energy. It's like flipping a switch from, I wish I could, to, I already did. Here's where it gets interesting. When you embody the mindset and actions of the person who already has what you want, you're not just playing dress up. You're reprogramming your subconscious mind to accept this new reality. The more you practice this, the more natural it will feel, and before you know it, your external world will start to align with your internal reality. This is where the real fun begins. You get to be the director, the actor, and the audience of your own life movie. Start small, maybe with how you speak to yourself, how you carry yourself, or the decisions you make. Then gradually build up to bigger actions. The key is to stay consistent, even when it feels a bit awkward. Remember, the more you live as if, the more your world will shape itself around that reality. And let's be real, acting as if is also a lot of fun. It's a chance to step into the shoes of your future self and live that reality right now. So, don't hold back. Embrace the role, play it fully, 
and watch as your life starts to mirror the success you've always envisioned. Overcoming doubt, what to do when imposter syndrome hits. Now, let's talk about something that almost everyone faces when they start using the reverse engineering method, imposter syndrome. You know what I'm talking about? That nagging voice in your head that says, who do you think you are? You can't possibly be that successful. Trust me, we've all been there. First things first, imposter syndrome is completely normal. It's just your mind's way of freaking out because you're stepping out of your comfort zone. But here's the thing, you can't let it stop you. The best way to overcome imposter syndrome is to confront it head on. Acknowledge the doubts, but don't buy into them. Remind yourself that every successful person has felt like an imposter at some point, but they didn't let it stop them. And here's a little trick. Use the reverse engineering method to deal with imposter syndrome. Think about how your future self, the one who's already achieved everything you want, dealt with these feelings. Did they push through? Did they keep going despite the doubts? Of course they did. So take a page from their book and keep moving forward. The more you act like the successful person you're becoming, the less those doubts will have power over you. Remember, doubt is just a speed bump, not a stop sign. It's something you'll encounter on the road to success, but it doesn't have to derail you. Keep your eyes on the prize and use the reverse engineering method to stay focused on your goal. With time, those doubts will fade and your confidence will grow stronger with every step you take. The power of small wins, building momentum. All right, let's talk about momentum, specifically how to build it using small wins. One of the best things about the reverse engineering method is that it allows you to see progress quickly, even with the smallest steps. And let me tell you, nothing builds confidence like a string of small victories. Think about it. When you start ticking off those smaller goals, you're building momentum that will carry you forward to the bigger ones. It's like a snowball effect. Each small win gives you more energy, more motivation and more belief in yourself. So don't underestimate the power of those little victories. They're the stepping stones to your ultimate success. Here's the key. Celebrate every win no matter how small. Did you take one action today that aligns with your future self? Celebrate it. Did you overcome a moment of doubt? Celebrate it. These small wins might seem insignificant on their own, but together they create unstoppable momentum. And once you've got that momentum, there's no stopping you. Remember, the reverse engineering method isn't just about the end goal, it's about enjoying the journey. Each small win is a reminder that you're on the right track, that you're making progress and that your success is inevitable. So keep moving forward, one small win at a time, and watch as your dreams become your reality. Embracing flexibility, adapting your plan. Let's talk about flexibility, because here's the thing. No plan survives first contact with reality. You might have the perfect reverse engineered blueprint for success, but life has a funny way of throwing curveballs. That's why it's crucial to stay flexible and be willing to adapt your plan as you go. Think of your reverse engineered plan as a GPS. Sure, it's great to have a route mapped out, but if there's road work ahead, you've got to be ready to take a detour. Flexibility doesn't mean giving up on your goal. It means finding a different way to get there. Maybe a faster way or maybe just a more scenic route. Either way, you're still heading in the right direction. And here's the cool part. Sometimes those detours lead to unexpected opportunities. By staying open to new possibilities, you might discover shortcuts or resources that you hadn't even considered. The key is to keep your end goal in sight while being willing to adjust your path as needed. Flexibility is your secret weapon against frustration and burnout. 
Remember, the reverse engineering method is about creating a roadmap, but it's also about staying agile. Don't get so attached to the plan that you miss out on better opportunities. Be like water, flow around obstacles, adapt to changes, and keep moving toward your destination. With the right mix of focus and flexibility, you'll reach your goal no matter what life throws your way. Surrounding yourself with success. The influence of environment. Let's shift gears and talk about something that's often overlooked in the manifestation process, your environment. The people you surround yourself with, the media you consume, even the physical spaces you inhabit all play a huge role in your success. If you're serious about becoming the person who has it all, you've got to curate your environment to reflect that. Think about it. If you're constantly surrounded by negativity, doubt and chaos, it's going to be a lot harder to maintain the mindset and habits of your future successful self. On the flip side, when you're in an environment that supports your goals, whether that's through supportive friends, inspiring content, or a clean organized space, it's so much easier to stay focused and motivated. Here's the deal. Your environment should be a reflection of where you're going, not where you've been. If that means upgrading your friend circle, changing your daily routines, or even redecorating your space to match your goals, then do it. Your environment has a powerful influence on your subconscious mind, so make sure it's working in your favor, not against you. Here's the deal. Your environment should be a reflection of where you're going, not where you've been. If that means upgrading your friend circle, changing your daily routines, or even redecorating your space to match your goals, then do it. Your environment has a powerful influence on your subconscious mind, so make sure it's working in your favor, not against you. We, and let's not forget about the people you surround yourself with. Ever heard the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? It's true. If you're hanging out with people who are constantly negative or doubting your dreams, that energy is going to rub off on you. But if you surround yourself with go-getters, people who are on their own path to success, that energy will lift you up. They'll inspire you, challenge you, and keep you accountable. So, do a quick audit of your environment. Are there people, places, or habits that are holding you back? If so, it's time for a change. Remember, the reverse engineering method is about embodying your future self now. That means curating every aspect of your life to support your goals. When your environment aligns with your desires, manifestation becomes so much easier. Staying the course. The importance of persistence. All right, manifestors, let's talk about persistence. Because here's the truth. No matter how good your plan is, no matter how aligned your environment is, you're going to face challenges. There will be days when you feel like giving up, when progress seems slow, or when doubt creeps back in. But here's the thing. Persistence is what separates those who succeed from those who don't. Think about it. Every successful person you admire didn't get there by giving up when things got tough. They pushed through, they kept going, even when it felt impossible. That's the kind of mindset you need to cultivate. When you reverse engineer your success, you're not just mapping out the easy parts, you're preparing yourself to navigate the obstacles as well. And trust me, there will be obstacles. But that's okay because persistence is your superpower. And here's the good news. Every time you push through a challenge, you're building resilience. You're proving to yourself that you can handle whatever comes your way. That's why persistence isn't just about reaching the finish line. It's about becoming the kind of person who never gives up, who always finds a way. That's the real prize of this journey. Because when you know you can overcome any challenge, nothing can stop you. So, when the going gets tough, remember why you started. 
Remember the future self you're becoming and keep moving forward one step at a time. With the reverse engineering method, you've got the roadmap. Now all you need is the persistence to see it through. All right, we've covered a lot today and by now, you're armed with the knowledge and tools to start using the reverse engineering method to manifest your desires. But let's bring it all together. This method is all about living in the end while retracing the steps of your success. It's about embodying your future self, acting as if you've already achieved your goals and staying persistent even when the road gets rough. Remember, specificity is key. The clearer you are about your end goal, the easier it will be to reverse engineer the steps to get there. Don't just think about the destination. Visualize the journey, the actions and the mindset shifts that will lead you to success. Surround yourself with an environment that supports your growth. Stay flexible in your approach and celebrate those small wins along the way. And most importantly, don't let doubt or imposter syndrome hold you back. You are capable of achieving everything you desire and the reverse engineering method is your blueprint to make it happen. So, start today. Begin acting as if, retrace those steps and watch as your reality begins to align with the life you've always dreamed of. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more powerful content. And hey, if you're ready to take your manifestation game to the next level, check out our exclusive coaching program in the description below. We're here to help you reverse engineer your way to success every step of the way. Until next time, keep manifesting, keep believing and remember you've got this.